This video is brought to you by BetterHelp. As two people who have been in therapy for many years now, we are proud to be partnered with these guys. Citizens of the Reject Nation, I have a very important message for everyone before we watch the finale of Has Been Hotel. Roxy claims to read every single one of the comments on these videos. I do. Let's put this to the test. I want to really see if she's the real deal. Ask her some questions in the comments. Let's see if she responds. I hope you respond to every single one of them. I respond to nice people who want to talk to me. Well. And I do read every single comment. Let's see. Guys, we're here for the finale. Very, very excited. We've had some predictions that we laid down in the uh, episode seven. Let's see if any of them come true. Hey, yo, leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. Thanks, Pepper, for helping us edit down these highlights. Thank you to all who have followed us at our Patreon page, becoming super sexy rejects over there. You get the full length reaction watch on sync up with your own copy of Hasman Hotel. John and Greg, I am Greg, do several shows exclusively over there with highlights <laughs> and watch alongs included. And now let's ver journey, ver journey, ver <laughs> let's ver journey. I can't wait to ver journey ver you guys. <laughs> to the depths of hell. <laughs>Oh, this is written by Adam Stein. Different. So Vivian didn't write this one. I wish my mom was here to see this. Me too. <laughs> I know. Begging for that, Lilith. TPC. <laughs> Ready for victorious combat. What in the hell are you supposed to be? General Pinches reporting for duty. I'll turn those rat scallions into soldiers in no time at all. Really? He has grown on me so much. I love him. Base needs fortifications. Reinforce the southern wall. Create a moat around the perimeter to stop a ground assault. Okay. The dead rats. If you see an angel, stab it. <laughs> no, no, nope, nope. Hey, 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 hey. Not him. Oh, that's angel dust. <laughs> Sinners, we got 24 hours before the extermination begins. Let's get to work. Stephanie Beatrice, I still feel like, is an underrated talent, honestly. I wonder how she feels internally about killing her own kind. Stephanie Beatrice? No, it's Maggie. 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 <laughs> I wasn't responding to what you said. I was watching the show, but you're right. Even people who aren't staying here yet, Jerry, look, I can't resist a fight, okay? Especially when I get to tag team with this kid. Oh my God, they're all coming together. Yes, and we are, we are going to win, but in case we don't. No. I want you all to know that getting to know you has been the biggest honor of my life. That's sweet, but don't put doubt in there. I know you all tried. I have seen the good in all of you. You mean these, like, five people? <laughs> Live tonight however you want, because... That's all I need here. All right, let's give it up for not dying. Love not dying. <clears throat> Drinks? <laughs> Ah, the celebratory night before a courageous last stand. A surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Give us more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like them, Alistair. They let me put on roach puppet shows without booing. Ah, an enjoyable collective to be around. Uh-huh. I dub thee King Roach. Oh, to understand your twisted little mind. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm like waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. And you're not off snorting a lion off some hunk's abs. You f one cannibal pool boy, you f them all. Yeah, I know what True, you mean. Bro, man. Charlie said live tonight however we want it. Make out. So pour me a fresh one. And let's get to living. You don't want to be inebriated when you're going to battle. Cherry. Tell her. I want to tell you that I Tell her. I love I'd love to wish you good luck in the battle. Uh, Serpentious. You are, have always been a worthy opponent no. with the most brilliant, explosive This is like the Ross and Rachel of this show. Well, they won't they? Anyway, I guess. Please don't die tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> don't be gross. Don't be gross. Yes, you know, I hear he's got to. How'd you want me to respond to that, Greg? 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll take one of them! What if we lose? You. Yes. Oh. Already done so much. True. Oh, yay. So many lives you changed. Facts. So many souls you've touched. Heavy. Tell her. If it's only me you say. That's enough. There's something that I've been dying to say. Marry me? Yeah, what? More than anything. I mean, they're doing the more than anything sign, but what if they're not said to each other? They love each other more than anything. Oh, oh, I got happy nipple chills. I didn't know nipple chills came in the happy variety. Oh, well, they usually come in an excited goosebumps. <laughs> Adam is like just the most ridiculous character. Slaughter every sinner in that shit hotel. And you all remember Vaggie. It's Vaggie. Quit Vaggie's mouth out her ass. You just... Chill, dude. <laughs> I want Adam to get his ass handed to him so bad. Is he going to live through this season? No. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be good. Now, for your soul. Angel Dust's boss was there with the TV guy. Valentino, yeah. Let the slaughter begin. Get in there, Alistair. Ha 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 ha. I to have some kind of shield, sir. Oh, really? I didn't see this giant f***ing shield in front of me, you dumb bitch. No shit. Yes. All angelic weapons, fire at will. Hey, yelling while fighting doesn't help. Uh, I mean, you need to talk over the sounds. Uh oh! Don't say something's working, otherwise. Damn, Baggy looks good. Adam has power. Yeah, well, he was the first. <laughs> oh, this is the first time they're becoming face to face. Adam, first man next to die. Who the f are you? Alistair, uh -huh. pleasure to be meeting you. Quite a pleasure. I'm about to end your f***ing life. <laughs> I can't help it. I love Alistair. I'm going to be devastated if he's evil. You really think you can take me on? A mortal soul is no match for me, Edgelord. This is a cool fight. <laughs> you think you're tough shit. I'm tougher than you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And worst, you're sloppy. Get him. You, you red piece of too much red. Shut up. Too much red. I'm gonna wipe that shit eating grin off your face, cause radio is dead. What just happened? <gasps> no. You, Alistair. <laughs> Whoa. I did not expect that. Disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. <laughs> Ooh. That was interesting. Adam's stronger. Get ready for yeah, you'd have to Agatha. assume he was strong. Vagatha. It. <laughs> it's like Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> She's apologizing. She probably has the most power, she doesn't realize it. <laughs> oh my god. Grambled yeah. eggs. You all right, Squirt? Get somewhere safe. No! Suck my holy life! There's you! Damn, this is wild. This is a full-blown fight. We aren't going to last long unless we do something about him. Oh, no. Of Serpentious, no. He's the only one that I think might I'm die. Fight, <gasps> you in mind? Yes. Yay. <laughs> He's got two dinglings. Said it. That was kind of hard. I hope Aww. he doesn't die. Kind of love him now. And charge the death ray. Yes, sir. Pentious? Hey, crazy mother. I love how this is coming full circle. Yeah. Uh, everything is like tying back to the first couple episodes. 
Oh, jeez. You did good, buddy. Charlie, I'm so sorry. No, there's going to be more to it. Yeah. Unleash. Let's go. There it is. Let's try. Yep. House of the Dragons. There's that darkness. Look who thinks they're badass. Cause she is. The traitor came to die. No. Oh God. Before I take your life, I'm going to tear that other eye out of your face. It was like comic book. Jeez, this is really good action. It's like an anime. Surprise, bitch. Ah! Unleash who you really are. Risking your immortal life for sinners? These sinners are my family. These sinners are my family. He is the worst. You should have stayed in your place, girly. Ah! Yes. That's princess of hell to you, pig. The fuck? That hurts. Can make him bleed. Oh, her tail. You always were weak. No, no. <laughs> yes. Do it then. Correct your mistake. Seriously, you're pathetic. You know that. Carpet or I. Live knowing that you only do because I let you. Oh. I would love to say that to someone. I think of at least three people. Yeah, but is she stuck under there? Or? Oh, God. Oh, no. This fight was cute and all, but it's time to die with the rest of them. Charlie! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, seriously. How many of you freaks do I have to fight? Oh, whoa, Has there's a face. whole face under there. See, you mess with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you. Well, this just got interesting. I fuck you up, Dad. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? <laughs> now I'm going to. <laughs> You're the most hated being in all of creation. Well, your first wife didn't seem to hate what I had to offer. Oh. The second. <laughs> Nice try, douchebag. Uh, hold still, you slippery uh, But where is Alistair? No! Oh, God! No tell. I got you. Dad, look out! Yeah! You come at me and my that was a cool <laughs> shot. His house is hell. Whoa, whoa, Dad. He's had enough. <sighs> no. Right. Murder. I'm the f***ing man, and you're just some f***ing clown or something. I started everything on Earth. All of mankind came from these f***ing nuts. <laughs> <laughs> these nuts. <laughs> Disgusting f***ing losers. <laughs> whoa. Oh my no god. Oh way. my god, not no. <laughs> I like that. That was an amazing reveal. <laughs> that was amazing. Take your little friends and go home. I think he makes it. Retreat. All exorcists fall back. Oh my god. It's gonna be full blown war next season. God's gonna get involved. So Who's up for pancakes? I haven't had pancakes in years. I had pancakes this week. Oh, you look great for having pancakes. The janitor said, quote, Charlie told me to stab, so I did. <laughs> anyway, congrats to Charlie and her crew for not being totally useless for once. Oh, where's okay. Alistair? Well, there's still something big is going to happen, I think. He did it for us. Oh, final song. Ultimate sacrifice. He gave me his trust. But he, mm. but he's alive. We don't know. This bloodshed could have been avoided. Talking about Serpentius. Convinced heaven to work together. Do what you could. Then I destroyed it. I know I could have done better. Did better than usual. Come on, little lady, why the frown? You're the first one to change this time. Yes. 
down. You can do this. Now I know it. <laughs> for your story is just begun. Season two. You've changed my mind. You've touched their hearts. Found the good and souls gone bad. She's a great woman. The crowd is gone, but by God, Charlie, the show it must go on. Season two show must go on. We can build it. Best hotel that you've ever seen. Greater hotel. True, fulfill your destiny. So long as I've got all of you with me. But would this motivation for redemption be the same? Uh, Good thing we're in hell. Uh. Check out this little magic number. Start with foundation. A remedial creation for me. It's can be. <laughs> Look at them. They're all doing it together. Make the best of what's in ruins. New coat of paint. New lights across the marquee with, with a little, little sorcery. sorcery. Aww. They're all positive. Alistair's missing. Led with his tail between his legs. What? The future of hell belongs to the bees. No. This place there is. reeks of death. There's a chill in the air. And I barely escaped being killed by a hair. It's gonna come back stronger. Sorry to disappoint. That is not where this ends. No. I'm hungry for freedom like never before. The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. What is the deal? I don't know. To I think he wants to get out of hell. Guess who will be pulling all the strings? Oh, he wants to be the ruler. Yeah, but unclip your wings from who? Gotta be Lilith, right? Gotta be. And we're doing it with a smile. Alistair's back! Good day in hell. Woo! <gasps> No. <gasps> what? Redemption. That's crazy. Adam is dead. Your deal is done, and I'm in charge now. Is it who I think it is? Your brat is threatening the very foundation of heaven, and if you want to stay here, yeah, your brat. You're going down there and stopping that. She's bitch. hiding out in heaven. You understand me, Lilith. Yeah, it's exactly, almost exactly how we thought they would tease Lilith, where yeah, you, we you, saw wanted, a you wanted her to talk, face, but, but yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they kept saying this whole season they didn't cast her yet, so you'd see a little bit of her, but then they would it would be the final moment. So she's hiding out. On the beach. Wow. And Adam is dead, dead. She's worse than everyone else. She man and her daughter. That's cruel. Selfish. She's, she's just enjoying life. Damn. For once, Prime Video recommends something that kind of makes sense. Little Nikki. It yeah. lines up. Yeah, it actually lines up a <laughs> that lot. That does make sense. Yeah, wow. And you and I love him. I know. The Sandman. I also love today's sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've literally just finished a therapy session and I wanted to shoot this because I'm in this state of knowing why I champion mental health support so much. In the past few weeks, work's been a little bit hectic. It's led me to miss some sessions and I really don't like doing that. And sometimes that's when the weight really starts to pile on. A lot of restless nights, a lot of fatigue, a lot of I can't sleep even though I'm so tired. Sometimes just a very deep-seated sense of gloom. Meditating and sometimes journaling are my daily go-tos. But sometimes they just don't cut it when I'm trying to pinpoint why I'm down. And really, especially Especially after a session like today, therapy just really helps clear the fog. Discussing the feelings is a critical step for me, especially as someone who's diagnosed with ADHD, type 2 bipolar, and PTSD. It's truly a cornerstone of my well-being. And I'm not alone in this. Many of us here at Real Rejects are in therapy, facing our own challenges from depression to anxiety, or just needing a non-judgmental space to voice our thoughts. This year, I've been working on most days of the week to keep my physical health strong, and I really do champion therapy as a way to strengthen my mental resilience. And for many, BetterHelp is integral to that process. There's real value in BetterHelp's accessible and adaptable service. They match you with a licensed therapist and provide the option to switch if necessary, ensuring the right fit for your mental health journey. As this year winds down and we confront life's complexities, do consider BetterHelp as a resource. Really happy to be partnered with them this month, so you can go to betterhelp.com slash realrejects for 10% off your first month. Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash realrejects. So join us in moving forward stronger together. Thank you again. And I also love that Roxy be wearing reject material around here. Oh, yeah, baby. A soaker. Yeah. A soda. Yeah.
I think that's one of our most underrated shirts. But not our space babies of the galaxy. I spread my legs for some reason. <laughs> not our space babies. I'm rubbing off on you. Yeah. <laughs> I want this one. Uh, Do you okay. want this I, one? I just love how <laughs> that's what everyone does when they come here. Give me that. Give me your shirt. <laughs> no, I, I'm, we're talking about the shirts. I'm saying I want this one. It's really cool. Yeah, sure. I need to give me. Oh my god, Greg. I got. Let me hype up your shirts. Like it's so cool. I want this one. I, Do you want this one? That's what I said. Uh, yeah. Well, I got. I've got three more in development right now. What cool. are they? I don't want to ruin it. I want to ruin it. Are any of them purge related? Yeah, because that is just like a booming thing here. Everyone knows purge. My purge pillow is on the ground. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, all right. Well, we've made it to the finale of Has Been Hotel. If you're listening to this on Apple or Spotify, uh, we watched episode seven and eight back to back. A lot of our things that we, I mean, the main thing with Lilith, I, I guess I wasn't expecting her to be in heaven, uh, which is kind of surprising, but nothing really surprised. It's weird. Like, Surprising things don't even surprise me because the show can kind of just it has carte blanche to sort of do whatever the hell they want. D- are we sure that was heaven? She goes, the yeah, angel goes said. up and says, "If you want to stay here, where the hell else would it be? Oh, she could be on Earth. Yeah. Oh, it was a beach. Yeah. It was a beach. Right. Oh, damn. Two people probably commented, and then the ad played, and then they're like, "No, Greg, it's not heaven. Ah, oh, damn. I don't they know. It could it be far. heaven. Oh, no, you're probably right." I don't know that I'm right. I'm just saying we we know she's not in hell, clearly. And we no, know she wants to she's stay in there. Paradise, you yeah. know. She's having a paradis par- paradictal is there like a verb for par- for experience in paradise? Par- paradictal. Mm-hmm. She's getting the dictal in para. Yeah. That mm-hmm. sounds like something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I, I'm not sure where exactly she is, but what we do know is she's not in hell taking care of her daughter. She's not showing up for her daughter the way Lucifer is showing up for her, the daughter. Uh, she uh, clearly has some deal with the angels that she is able to be where she is for as long as hell stays tame, you know, and they, but then now they're like, you can't stay here unless you go take care of that bitch. But who has the power over? It seems like she wants nothing to do with any of that shit in hell. So why would she be the one reigning over Alistair? I don't know that she is reigning over Alistair. Uh, it's just been my theory this whole time because they were gone for the same amount of time. No, it, pokes a whole, it does. Yeah, it sounds like there was some there's there's some other linchpin, some other conduit for all this stuff, you know? Yeah, because and then even Alistair's song at the end, like, clip my wings. Mm-hmm. From who? We need answers. But in terms of a finale, it was action packed. Action packed. Yeah, I mean, they set up this, the season. They were like, we're going to, heaven and hell are going to fight. And then the finale, heaven and hell fought. And then there's chances of redemption. My question That, that was I, the biggest reveal. Of uh, Serpentius? Yeah, he went, like, this was her plan the whole time. Yeah, and Serpentius sacrifices himself for his friends truly truly does the selfless thing and he shows up in heaven and if you factor in the pilot as a true episode one he was the first villain right so the full character arc but he kisses cherry bomb and he says i love you and then he goes off and he does something very brave and it doesn't work mm. but he does it but why and would he end you... up in heaven but the plan why, why i guess i guess my question is no one wants this purge thing to happen anymore, right? Purge. Yep. <laughs> no, no one wants it to happen anymore. <laughs> and uh, it's like poking a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, purge. It's, it's different when you're like face to face. It's just like right in your eyes. Purge. <laughs> purge. Uh, yeah. The No one wants this to happen. No one wants it to happen. This extermination and, you know, they want us to get the hotel going again, which they have already done. What will be the greater purpose of rehabilitation when the goal before was uh, to eliminate the purge from happening? And <laughs> just hear you say <laughs> purge. <laughs> eliminate, eliminate it from happening. I mean, the idea was like, OK, you prevent less people from from being excised if, if more people are able to go to heaven because of the overpopulation problem. Right. Would the goal still be to get you to go to heaven? Because clearly, now that Charlie knows what heaven's really like, that it's not all it's made out to be, would they want to want to go to heaven? Or, or would it just be about making hell a more, you know, a stronger community? Well, in heaven, you don't have the risk of extermination. 
Well, I think the I think in this finale, what they were showing was they don't even want that extermination element to be happening in hell. So I feel right. like that they have a bigger goal in their hands of, of a war. Between, there has to be some type of deal made with heaven where they're not killing each other, killing anyone in hell. Um, right. Because, because hell's Serpentis still, probably doesn't want to be there and they don't probably want him there. Yeah, because hell's just more of a community. It's not, it's not in the same way of how hell has been pitched to us for so long of like souls go there and then they're punished and they're tortured. They're they're just uh it's a civilization essentially. Some of them, but we saw the V's, you know. You can be punished, uh, but you can also just live there, you know. Maybe unless the V's are in charge. True. You True. know, yeah. Like under under Charlie, it's good, and, True. and some of the rulers and leaders. But we don't even know what Alistair's plan would be if he was able to be the ruler. Yeah, so I guess they would want, but they don't know about that. So I'm like, why would Charlie want to, I guess, what would be the motivation of Hasbin Hotel, of, of like the actual physical property of Hasbin Hotel well, she to inspire people to rehabilitate, you know? To go to heaven. Charlie doesn't know that heaven's not a good place. She went there and she had questions, but I don't think she went there and was like, screw this place. I think she thinks that still there's some beauty there. Mm, okay. But That's we've fine. seen more. True. I'm shocked that but they Vaggie killed would Adam. Vaggy would know. That's pretty fucked up there. Yeah, Vaggy would know, but Vaggy didn't even tell her anything yet. But Vaggy might, we might see that arc in season two, Vaggy saying like, do, why do we even want people to go to heaven? Like, of course we want them to be better, but. Mm -hmm. And apparently you go only go to heaven if you die. I think it's, it beats the, this is what it is, Greg. It beats the alternative of being gone for eternity. Because it's not like you're redeemed and you go to heaven. You're, he died and went to heaven. True. As opposed I mean, to if you die in hell and then you're gone. That's fair. I mean, but you can also die if you're a soul in heaven, apparently, according to this, like angels were killed. And right. I just think she wants her people to be able to, if they die, go to heaven as opposed to nowhere. Yeah, there has to be some type of, a not an alliance, but an understanding that forms between heaven and hell. And there's that one girl that we think that we can have an alliance with who is in heaven, mm -hmm. who they did the duet with in episode six. You know what I'm talking about? Charlie, the girl that Charlie did the duet with, the younger girl in heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got our back, the, the and she wants thing, the yeah. alliance. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a lot more crazy uh, world building to go. We haven't even, I mean, I feel like we might even step our toes into Earth in the next season. Possibly, yeah, if that's where Lilith is. Uh, and maybe that's what we determined, that redemption doesn't get you to heaven, it gets you back on Earth or something? Well, for a show about redemption, what I really liked about what this finale did was like it brought her back around to family matters, and uh, that you know, for not forgiving others, but self forgiveness as well. Like a lot of like heavenly themes, but applied in the status of hell. I thought was it was really great, you know. And I don't know how people will feel about the finale. I like the finale. I, I did too, but it didn't go out with the bang that I thought it might, which was like telling us what the Alistair situation was. Uh, yeah, they left a little. They left a little more seeds dangling, and I, I still, it, it, it went the direction that you expect, like a big blowout. Adam died. You're surprised Adam dies. It seemed like it was pretty obvious he was going to die. I wasn't surprised that he died. As in, when I asked you, like, do you think he's going to die? I also thought he was going to die. I'm just saying that if you had told me, if you told me a few episodes, like, do you think he's going to die this season? I would have said probably not because he seems like such a big villain mm -hmm. that I thought they might move forward with. But it is cool. He's the big bad of season one. Yeah. Where's God and all? Where's God in all of this, Greg? Well, that doesn't matter. We're talking about fiction. <laughs> Where's God? Yeah, have you heard about the simulation theory? You don't know that this isn't fiction. I uh, I would I, I think this is a terrible simulation. Then. Yeah, it's well, terrible. that's God's fault. I need to sign up for a bigger simulation. <laughs> need a new deal next simulation. Uh, yeah, the because they don't even talk about God. Yeah, it's that's something that even the. This sh it's funny. I love the show Supernatural. I know and, you do. And they do. There's a they avoid. They have. They get like every religion involved, and they mainly thrive off Christianity and have another thing. Where like angels are bad too, as well. Like it's a whole conversation. It took a while for them to really talk about God and bring you know uh, that equation as well. 
they always have like crucifixes and stuff, but they never talk about Jesus. And I think, I think there's like certain subjects that they kind of stray away from, but I think you got to bring God into the equation. Like you have to. Well, we're in heaven. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you have to bring the cre- the, the supposed creator of all uh, into it. What about the devil? That's Lucifer. Is, but like we haven't seen him as the devil at all. Uh, this is their interpretation of what the devil is. He's still the devil, mm. you know, but it's just the interpretation of it. Uh, of Lucifer himself, but I, I like Lucifer stepping in. I thought the action was really cool. I'm trying to figure out what that punch is that was missing for me. Uh, it, it doesn't really even come out of reveals. There was just something there that it's better than a Marvel finale, but it's kind of like a Marvel finale. <laughs> you know, I still really again. I think it knows it's getting its season two, and sometimes when we're watching so many movies. At the end, you feel more fulfilled because you're like, oh, okay, that's what that story was. But oftentimes, as you know, I'm a TV junkie. At the end of a season one, you're like, what? That's it? What do I, you know, what what do I do from here? Yeah. Well, it seems that Charlie is going to become a beast a beast a strong leader and that's what i mean like we were i, I kept saying that i think that we're gonna see her get more unleashed throughout the se- series and then this one really teased that a lot she even had the whole tail and everything and she was like hulking out and in, in the devil form I that was loved cool it. so hot are you hot there stuff it's hot you there god it's me greg and roxy <laughs> what <laughs> where did that come from because uh when we're talking about Hopeful for season two and things that are hot. Did you ever read? Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Yeah, I'm the guy who would read. Or, or you <laughs> did you see the movie? No. Do you know the movie? No. That's the. Oh my God! What? It's one of the biggest movies from last year. Rachel McAdams is in it. Um, it's called Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. It's made after the book. Whatever you were saying, where's God? I was still on it. It was one of the biggest movies of last year. It was a big movie last year. Yeah, big box office movie. Really? I don't mean one of the biggest is in like a tent pole that was, but yeah, yeah, it was theater, theatrical release. Cool. It was, it's really good. Um, it was, um, Kelly Fremont Craig, her follow up to Edge of 17. Oh, cool. And it's based on this book that was like, uh, it's a book about coming of age, getting your period. It's like a book that most of my friends, most pe- girls I know my age mm. read it. Anyway, are you there? God, it's me, Greg and Roxy. <laughs> I'm glad we, to hear it. We want to see you on Hasbin Hotel season two. Yeah. All right. Well, great wrap up song. I weirdly feel like it was pretty straightforward. It was an action episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But defeated heaven. And, I mean, def- yeah. They and and I think, I really think what I'm hoping for season two is one of the best parts that I think about this show, that that I felt like kept ramping up, and I do feel like they kind of dialed it back in these last couple episodes. This last couple became very straightforward, and I liked the complexity and and multi-layeredness of everything they were doing prior. Like, even when she goes to heaven, there is such a conversation. There's a debate about everything. Yeah, they were able to have more fun in those episodes because they didn't have to accomplish as much. We were on kind of like side missions. And I think, like, you can really open up a conversation here of, you know, the the duality of opinions uh, in heaven of what they should do about hell. Like there can be a divide in heaven and I hope they go into that terrain too. I I think like as much as everything feels celebratory, there's also a lot of complications that can erupt from something like this, you know? Yeah. And I, and I hope that they, they go there because the last two have been very straightforward and they kind of played out in a way that was cathartic at the same time. uh, Nothing was as, the most unexpected thing was through pinches. <laughs> yeah, but was, that was really unexpected yeah, that was and interesting. Really unexpected. That's bigger than we think. And yeah. I think that speaks to the central theme of this show, which is my takeaway of this entire season and of this show, which is who gets to decide what's good, what's bad. And and what are like when we had that episode with the three episode six with the three qualifications, right? Who picks those and who's to say really? And uh, on your best day, would you go to heaven? And on your worst day, would you go to hell? I bet every person probably on their best and worst day would be one of those two, no matter where you are on that spectrum. Mm-hmm. So I think that the Serpentis stuff really made a difference because it 
leaves me to believe that this show knows that that's its main theme. Yeah. Well, before we go, is your Friday really busy? Yeah. So you're going to have a lot of comments to respond to. <laughs> I, I can't hope, wait. I hope you have hours of free time. I only respond to comments that say my name because I'm vain and um, comments that are nice because I can't be down in the mud with the trolls. But those can, you can waste the most time there. I know. You can go down a big vacuum. A That's big hell wormhole. though. And I want to live in heaven. It is a hell. I've done it. I've done it many times. Are you there, God? <laughs> you should react to that movie. It was so good. Okay. I appreciate the recommendation. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Has Been Hotel. Was the finale satisfying for you? Leave your thoughts down below. Ask Roxy questions. Season one has been. A, a, ho- a great season. A, ha- a hotel. Listen, I'm going to grab some food. And work on videos to get these to these guys. But thank you, Roxy, for joining me on this journey. Thank you for having this be the first show we cover together. Many and more to come. Yes, many one more to come. And and then, <laughs> and then uh, we're going old school this time to warm up the brain before we film a movie reaction. So thank you to all who have joined for this tier. I want to shout all you guys out individually, one at a time. We'll do more than just say your name. We're going to get some serious bars, starting <laughs> with Matthew Arms, delivering all the charms. Jack Forrest uh, in a Ford Taurus. <laughs> nice. And Namari, constantly eating all that calamari. Mike Joyce in a Rolls Royce. Everyone gets a car in my version. Hope you commit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in now, baby. <laughs> Ryan Smith, the ultimate dark side of the Sith. Kevin Meek in the front seat. Adrian. Tim's addicted to playing the Sims. Navdeep Sidhu, uh, you can borrow my Subaru. Real Naga surrounds a real n- <laughs> Heather Gear. Put it in, Heather Gear. Mm, Heather First Gear. That's the appropriate version. <laughs> Ian Simon always be rhyming. Jacob Neptune drives a Saturn. Kayla the King always rocking that sexy bling. Looks like I'm riding with Olivier Hamelin. Got it. it. Ring, ring. I'm getting a phone call from Alan Ling. Kiera, if I removed some of the letters from your name, it would be Kia Sorrento. Juan Longoria, I aim to bore ya. I'm gonna drive right off a cliff, Rodriguez. Ian Wreck, constantly listening to Beck. Goat Nation, could you tow me to the gas station? Lorenzo Baxter, ride me faster. Differently sane, gonna hydroplane in the rain. That's still a car thing. Marco Tunstill, always out for the ultimate kill. Simply faded tinted windows. You got to get a new set of tinted windows on your car, my friend. SJ94 always cutting right to the core. Justin Aston Martin, the perfect one. My phone be calling, calling, and he's on the phone balling. Philip J. Smith Jr. Mitsubishi used to make cars. Remember that? I'm just... <laughs> That, you just made me think of that, so that's that's for you. <laughs> Jen Smith, hips have a nice width. <laughs> hey, Melanie LeBlanc. Melanie LeBronco, that's not bad. I feel like you would drive a Bronco, too. And, and also, now that I'm thinking about it, Kevin Meek could have been Kevin Jeep. That would have been better. But, but anyway. Kira could have been Toyota. Kira could have been Toyota. That might have been a good rhyme. There's so many <laughs> options. Ne- tune in next month when I uh, bring a whole boatload more other car uh, references to fit to your names. We didn't do a Tesla. There was nobody got to be a Tesla or a Porsche or a, a Lamborghini. And then you just had like a grab bag of fun and fanciful. Scenarios. Yeah, I had the hard job. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you, you carried this, and I commend you for it. Thanks, guys, for carrying us. 